Welcome to its topic. In today's video, we are going to discuss about forms in HTML. We can use form in HTML to collect user data. For example, while you are registering in any website uh, like Facebook or Instagram, you are supposed to create a new account or you must log into your existing account. So there you will get some uh, text box and buttons to enter your information and submit it to the Facebook or Instagram server. So the way by which we collect the information is known as form. So in this video we will learn how we can create a simple form in HTML. The main tag to create form in our HTML document is form F O R M form and it is a container element that's why it have both opening tag and closing tag. So the closing will be bracket slash f o r m form. The form tag have uh, these attributes, and you know what are attribute. Attribute give more features to the tag. The attribute of form tag are first one is action. Action means what the form will do. It specify the name of the server of the or the destination where the data have to be submitted means whatever data will collect through the form where we, what we are go going to do with the data or the information so this is known as action suppose the information whatever I am collecting through the form I will send it to the registration page so my action will be action equal registration dot html then bracket close and one quotation close next attribute is method method means uh, how we'll send the information there are mainly two method in our form one is get and another one is post get is when we are asking questions in our web pages suppose I want uh, the details of roll number one or I want the marks of student uh, whose name is Arun for that purposes we can use get method and post when we are submitting some sensitive information like a uh, username date of birth uh, password then we are using post while we are using get then the information whatever we entered in the form we can see in the URL but if you are using the if you are using the method as post we can't see the information it will be hidden so let's write the method as get and if we don't write any method by default it will it will be get so let's write the method as get then one more its name here the name of the form our document may have one or more form so it is better to give a name to our form suppose my form name is registration R E Z. so these are the attributes of form tag action here I will write what I am going to do with my data whatever I will collect from the form then method and name and inside the form tag we will write the, we will make the component now what are the main component of a form the main component of a form are text box label audio box oh, sorry radio box check box buttons etc now at first we'll learn how we can uh, add text box to our form so let's to add text box in our form you will write input so input type here type will write normally as text means will take textual information input type text we have more options in place of text we can also write checkbox radio password submit reset button file image etc so here we'll write just input type text then one more attribute we have name will give name to the text box suppose we will collect here name only so it is name then size how many uh, character will or uh, what will be the size of the text box size suppose I want a uh, 50 
px so it is 50 then uh, value how much information it will contain value oh sorry specific value to the text box and we can add also one more thing here placeholder placeholder will write here enter name then bracket close and input close let's see how the input box will look in the web page first save the web page as any name dot html and open it, open it on browser and to add one more text box we can do this one we can put a br tag then this uh, input command only we can copy and paste suppose next box will take the users age so here we will write input type number and the name will as age and here enter age so let's save So this is our text box you can see here enter name and I have added one more text box so just reload the web page here you can see one more text box enter age now I will add one more there I'll text write as uh, address so we'll write here input or text area text area then name suppose name is it is address addr then rows and calls columns means it is width of the column cols suppose it, it is 50 and rows suppose it is uh, 30 then here br and one more we will take this one is button so input type button then value submit then bracket close and input close and here text area is also closed here please remember the closing is not necessary you may uh, skip it so let's see how our, our form will look these are our form component enter name enter age and all the rows are so much uh, we will put here just three rows not 30 rows three rows and uh, place holder also we can put here place holder place holder means we'll write one uh, instruction what uh, should do by the user like here enter address now let's see how it will look so the form will look now like this way enter name enter age enter address then submit if I click on submit nothing will nothing is going to happen because I have not added uh, any text any command for the button
we can also add the background color to the form here we can write bg color suppose it is a light blue save it and go to the page and reload it say not to the form to the web page inside body will write bg color equal light blue and just see the difference now page color will be in blue and if we want to keep the form in center position then we can write it here center and while closing the form that time center close so this way we can create a simple form in HTML by using HTML in our web page so I think center is not a good idea so just remove the center and if you want to put one new button you can write it here like suppose one more input this is a, this one only I am going to copy it and I will make a new button here input type button here in place of button I will write reset value it's reset then input save it now let's see the output so this is suppose name I am writing XYZ age I am writing uh, it's 20 then address XY Z now submit the submit button will not work as I said I have not written any command for it and reset it will reset the command so this is the basic information about the form and if you want to write some any information in the form like uh, enter your name and all that one you can write by using this one before the form tag you can write it here h1 then align suppose align is center then registration form then h1 close now save the page and just reload it so this is the basic command to create a form in next video we'll run uh, we'll learn how we can make our form more attractive uh, how we can add um, more options to our form thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye